It is a new you in 22. Do you ever worry about your memory when you're sometimes forgetting things? Here to help us figure it all out, please welcome the author of Remember the Science of Memory and the Art of Forgetting, Lisa Genova. Lisa, I was just saying to Gelman, it's amazing how we can, especially me, I will put my phone down, physically put my phone somewhere and have total amnesia that I've put it there. Yeah, so... This is super common, right? So we're constantly saying we're forgetting where we put our things, our phones, our keys, our glasses, where we parked our car. This isn't actually a symptom of memory loss at all. This is a symptom of distraction. The first necessary ingredient in forming a memory that's gonna last longer than this present moment is attention. So you can't remember where you put your things if you don't pay attention to where you put them in the first place. I, I, um, I've got to tell you, I don't remember what you just said. So what is that a sign of? <laughs> Kelly, you're going to pay attention to what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> if you forget what someone just said, the name of a person you just met, um, the last 10 minutes of the drive, right? You're in your car and you're like, I, where am I? You weren't paying attention. So this isn't a symptom of Alzheimer's or memory loss or, oh, I have a terrible memory. This is, guys, we got to slow down and pay attention. So what if how we do can't we... find our words, our words? Like uh, sometimes Ryan and I will try to find the words for something and we're like, you know, that thing, that thing, the portal with the handle. And he's like a door. The thing with the steering wheel, with wheels, a car. Right. Yes, those kinds of things. Yeah. So, you know, if you really think about it, it's more often proper nouns than those common nouns. And this is a, just a normal glitch in memory retrieval. It's a byproduct of how our brains are organized. These tip of the tongue moments, it, they're usually someone's name, a movie that someone recommended, a city. So they're proper nouns. They think of them as living in neurological cul-de-sacs. They're super tricky to reach. It's totally normal, guys. It's not a symptom of Alzheimer's how, or memory how, loss. How do you identify if it is something serious? So, yeah, so everybody's worried about this. Where's the line, right? So the distinction is really clear. Here's a couple of examples that should help. So let's say I have early Alzheimer's and I'm still able to drive. If I drive to the shopping mall and I park in a garage, I shop for an hour, I come out, it's not, oh, did I park on level three or level four? which a lot of us do, right? Because we ran off, we zipped off, we were texting, we were thinking something else and we didn't pay attention to where we parked. Um, if you have Alzheimer's, it's more like, how did I get here? Or you could be standing in front of your car and not recognize it as yours. Um, another example, okay, uh, what did you have for lunch last Wednesday? I don't know, I can't remember what I had for lunch last Wednesday, probably because it was routine, same old, same old, not particularly extraordinary in any way. If I have Alzheimer's, I can't remember what I had for lunch an hour ago or that I even had lunch. Um, again, the words that go missing with Alzheimer's, they're the super, super common nouns all day long, dozens of times. The tip of the tongue that most of us experience is proper nouns. Um, by the way, guys, totally okay to Google these. People think, oh my God, I can't look it up or I'm gonna make it worse, right? I'm gonna make my weakening memory worse than it already is. That's a total myth. It's totally okay um, to look up your blocked words, your tip of the tongue words. You're not going to weaken your memory and you don't have to suffer through that. Like, ah, oh, I got to come up with it on my own. Nope. Myth. 